welcome to my stitchy home. Today's date is Sunday, June 23rd, 2019. Welcome. Thanks for coming back or checking me out for the first time. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch, but I do a lot of different crafts, so there'll be discussions on <laughs> a little bit on quilting and this rug back here and um counted canvas work just different things that i'm into and working on and this video will also um you'll meet duchess i'm hoping to insert that uh at the beginning and then um i'll talk about my stitch con plans a stitch con is a convention of about 400 cross stitchers june 20 7th through the 30th in Cincinnati, Ohio, technically Sharonville, Ohio, and it's next week and I'm going, and I know some of you are going to, uh, some of you are going to a Katrina Boyd retreat in Franklin, Tennessee, and I'm sure there's other things going on um, all around the world. So first up, I'm hoping to uh, insert a video here of my cat Duchess. Hey Floss Tube. This is Duchess, our pretty kitty. Yeah. She's a I don't know, a gray domestic short hair. She's got stripes on her real pretty stripes. Looks like she has like a mask. <laughs> like she's wearing glasses or something. Um uh, she's thirteen years old. We've had her about Hmm, five years, maybe about five years. And um, she was my friend Terry's cat before that. And Terry, after I retired, said, Would you like to adopt Duchess? <laughs> we already had a cat, but I, um, okay. <laughs> so uh, our other cat has passed away. So now it's just Duchess. And she is fine being the only cat. I, I wish I had a little different setup. Oh, well, she's moving. Where's she going? Oh, that, okay. That was it. Just a, just a change to the other side. She has stripes on this side, too. Yes, she does. She has stripes all over. Yes. Yes. Did I get an itch? Did you get an itch? Yeah, you got an itch? Um, we're almost done. We're almost done, Duchess. Well, as you can see, it's long past Duchess's bedtime. Uh, she is definitely one who sleeps 22, 23 hours a day. And no matter what's going on around her. And apparently, even if she's on film, she's, uh, she's watching me, though. Can you see that? Can you see that? She's watching me. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sorry this wasn't more exciting, but, um, yeah. Yeah. You should have been up dancing or something. Playing tricks. She does not really like to play. My husband tries to play with her, and she she's not all into that. At age 13, I, she's lost that. If, if she ever had it to begin with, she's lost it. <laughs> All right. Well, back to regular scheduled programming. Bye. Isn't she cute? <laughs> she doesn't... Um, she always knows when I have something planned for her. She uh, gets this suspicious look in her eyes like, you're, you're going to take me to the vet. You're going to leave. You're going to make me do something I don't want to do. Uh, you're going to put flea medicine on my neck. <laughs> anyway, anything that upsets her routine is, you know, frowned upon. So uh, I tried to get her first thing before I filmed, and she knew. She knew something was up, and she hid underneath the bed. So uh, the clip you will have just seen um, is whenever she comes out from underneath the bed and I can, I can grab her. So I hope that went well. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, this is video number five, floss tube number five. And number four was, was just a couple of days ago. If you haven't watched it, I encourage you to go back and watch it because I announced the winners of the giveaway that I had in video three. I also listed the winners in a pinned comment on video three. I've heard from three of the winners so far. My, uh, I mentioned in the last video, Lynn had already responded. I heard from Julie and I've heard from Sheila. Thank you, ladies. And I will uh, mail your, your uh, winnings <laughs> out uh, tomorrow, Monday, on my way out of town to go to StitchCon in Ohio. And there will be more about that later in the video. Um, I'm going to give away two more charts. And I, I showed this. I showed this design um, in a previous video. The the chart is in, was part of a kit, but if you wanted to stitch this or it had a whole alphabet, um, the chart could be used for for stitching something, even if you don't have you know provided easily to you the contents that that were that were part of the kit. Uh, it's called Friendship Notes, and it says an exemplary needle guild exclusive by Caroline Morrison. Now, I this this was mine. There's a little bit of thread left. It's 167 stitches high by 69 inches wide. Eight and three eighths inches by three and a quarter inches, and of course they're talking about, you know, this whole you stitch this entire thing here, and then wrap it around. But if you're interested in winning this, um, I'll keep this open as long as the previous giveaway is open, which is July seventeenth. But you need to comment on this video, video number five, that you want to stitch friendship and um, and I'll pick a winner to win the chart for this okay next have not shown this before this is a counted canvas work piece it's a purse And it is by Fern Ridge Collections. Now they do a lot of linen and beading. So if you go to Fern Ridge Collections, uh, you'll you'll see they're they're big into linen projects, needle books, smalls, things like that, um, as well as scissor fobs, beaded scissor fobs. But uh, this was, I guess you'd say, like a collaboration with um, the purses by the cloakroom. The cloakroom. And I don't know if you can get if you can get the purse anymore. It came with um, already attached to it this fabric panel that you then hand I hand sewed it around to close off so that you this. This was a quick stitch. Um, I don't think I've ever used it as a purse. So if if you are interested in this, say I'd like to stitch the purse. And you'll have to, until July 17th to comment on this video to be in the running for that. So the first one was linen. The second one is, is a counting canvas piece. And they're really just the design is, is what you're getting because the kit contents um, I've been used up. Okay, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, giveaway rules. I always forget that. Uh, you need to be 18 years or older to give me your address uh, in the US or Canada and either say I want to stitch friendship or I want to stitch the purse. 
friendship or purse. All right, that's page one of the notes. <laughs> um, okay, I showed you in the last video a needle minder that I had purchased from Diane Herman based on her design. Uh, um, another counted canvas uh, design and the little um, starfish is bullion stitches and the foam is like eyelet stitches different yeah different eyelet stitches and of course the the water it's just straight stitches. Um, I I hear some floss tubers talk about uh, being afraid of counted canvas work. They're afraid of, or they're they're afraid especially stitches, not just on canvas. It could be on linen too. And um, I just I don't think you need to be afraid. It's you had to learn how to make an X on fabric to do cross stitch. Well, you'll you'll just learn how to do a straight stitch after a straight stitch after a straight stitch. And that's all eyelets are, is they're straight stitches. I mean, that's a cross stitch is two straight stitches. So I, I feel like if you can count, you can do anything you put your mind to. You really can. Bullion stitches take practice. Uh, Here's, here's my in progress. This was a class and um, so actually it goes like this. <laughs> so I started with um, the white and I've, I've done a I've done a few little eyelets over here just in class. We, we did some. And then I practiced the starfish, the bullion stitches. And um, and then these will get darker and darker and darker as they go as they go up the, the page. So but the needle minder, I just wanted to show you the pattern and where I was. The, the needle minder is based on, on that design uh, by Diane Herman. All right, I also mentioned in the last video I had bought more yarn to make, to crochet another um, scarf, and this is my yarn, and this is Yarn Bee uh, called Chloe, and the color's Ocean Water, and I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. I th it's very soft. And uh, when I get home, I'll start it. Okay, what else? Oh, so beginning of June, you know, so I forgot something else I worked on in, to report on in the last video. And I will have to insert a picture here. Okay, so that's the two cross stitches that I showed, I think in a previous video, three maybe. Uh, one that I had stitched, but I hadn't finished it. I had picked out a frame, and then the other one I was still working on. And they were both Lizzie Kate designs, and I showed the patterns in video three. So I finished them up, and uh, they went to our niece. Um, I framed both of them, and you will have seen that in the picture that I just showed you. <laughs> so that took some time. I was thinking, what else besides crocheting and my my other travel whip, what else did I work on? Well, that's what I worked on. So, um, okay. So when we went to uh, her confirmation, uh, we that's, that's up near Wheeling, West Virginia. So we did take a trip over. 
uh, to visit um, Teresa's Fabrics and it's south of Wheeling. <laughs> and um, of course, this is her like little rewards card. But she also gave a key fob. And I purchased, uh, these are called Story Strips by Anthology. Uh, they are two and a half inches wide by 40, 42 inches long. And these are batik, so they're different colors. And I got two of them the same. Um, but I got them to make jelly roll rug. Except this pattern is for an oval rug. And what you see back here is my round. And this sits on our glass kitchen table, which is round. And it's great because it, you know, if you put a, a wet glass down or anything like that, I mean, it's it's um, absorbent and, and it's washable because it was made from cotton fabric. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this to make probably another round one. I also got, boy, this, I, I need to figure out a way to talk faster. Uh, I bought this Blackbird Designs fabric. Isn't it fabulous? Fabulous. It's kind of a, um, hmm. It's darker than Ecru, and it's not really yellow. Let's see if it gives. Um, Wild Rose, Blackbird Designs. And let's see what else. Uh, it's by Moda Fabrics, pattern number 2660. And the the cross stitches are like a pale sagey green. So I think I have about 10 yards here. And um, if, if you're looking for this fabric to do a, a project bag or something like that, let me know because I'm, I'm, willing, I'm willing to sell it or, or split it up and sell it. In pieces if you've been looking for something like that let me know I mean I would love to find one person who wanted to buy all of it but <laughs> but anyway just just letting you know and I'm I may um, I may reach out to a couple of people that I do that I know make project bags to see if they would like to have uh, some of it so anyway that was at Teresa's Fabrics south of Wheeling West Virginia and it was on her clearance rack. Um, okay. The quilt behind me, uh, I, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's called Remember Me. And it's a Villa Rosa Designs postcard quilt. So if you go, if you Google Villa Rosa Designs, uh, you'll find the website. And I found out today when I did just that, that they offer digital downloads. So you can buy the pattern for $2, Remember Me. And I have this, I found this fabric, which is really can't see it very well, but it's, it's log cabins. And so I wanted, um, so I found like pine cones and wood and um, this is another wood one. And then this is stone, looks like stack stone. Um, behind that are my project boxes and patterns and things. But um, I wanted to do something to kind of 
remember growing up, we would go uh, camping at state parks and national parks. My dad was really big into camping. And there were even times where uh, his mother, my grandmother would go, or, or even my mom's mother would go, and we might stay in a, a cabin or a lodge. Uh, and I say we, I might stay <laughs> with my grandmother in the cabin or the lodge while everybody else in, um, in the extended family stayed in their campers or tents. So anyway, this, this just, it's funny that it's called Remember Me because it does bring up uh, memories for me of growing up and camping and visiting all the parks. And I think I'm going to give this to a cousin that I, I did a lot of those camping trips with. So uh, hopefully it will bring him happy memories too. Okay, um, at a recent quilt retreat, I received this little tray someone had made, uh, well, the organizer, the facilitator had made, and, but this brings up something my friend Melissa, the one that helped me crochet, figure out how to read crochet instructions, she makes these little bowls. And she has a really cute name for them. And I can't remember what it is. <laughs> but I think she uses Peltex, which is a Pelon pro product that you can buy um, on the bolt at a Joann's. And um, it's got a bottom and then the sides. And you can see it better here. It's got two sides and the bottom. And then when you fold it up, and uh, she, it looks like she used a uh, maybe pearl, pearl cotton. And then you end up with this cute little bowl, which could hold your orts or your pens, or I mean, whatever, your scissors. Just she made these two sizes that. They cute. So uh, I don't know if she would be willing to sell them to anybody out there in the world or not. I'll have to ask her, but just wanted to show those to you because uh, I know a lot of you do sewing and crafting of, of all kinds, and so you never know where you're going to get your next idea. And let's see what else. What else? Oh, okay. So next, uh, StitchCon and some items that I've received recently. Uh, if if you haven't seen the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine for spring, it featured uh, keepsakes as the as a cross stitch shop. And Keepsakes is the, the needle workshop in Cincinnati, or in Sharonville, Ohio, north of Cincinnati. So I wanted to, in case you haven't seen this, in case you haven't been to Keepsakes, uh, maybe you've heard of them, but you've just, you've never gone to the website, you've never looked at any pictures. Uh, this is what Keepsakes looks like. It's a house. And that's the cat, 310 which is the DMC color for black. So that's 310. There's the owner, Barbara, and she's the one putting on StitchCon. That's the room they stitch in on Fridays. If you ever hear Pam and Steph um, of Just Keep Stitching on Floss Tube talk about Friday stitching at Keepsakes, that's where they're stitching. And that's kind of what that group looks like. There's, there's Steph, and and that's Pam. And then there's Steph and Barbara, the owner, and Lynn, who works at the shop. So if you are going to StitchCon, and if you are going to Keepsakes, or if ever you do go to Keepsakes, you'll you'll probably see these three. So it was, it's a really good article. There's more pictures. 
there the shop is just crammed full of stitchy goodness lots of models uh, lots lots of models there's another picture of the house so I just wanted to share that as, as I know some of you are going to StitchCon or you have dreams of one day going to Keepsakes. If you haven't seen that spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, it would be a good one to get, um, to pick up. It's, I think the summer issue is already out, so it may be hard to find, but anyway, wanted to share that. Um, if you want to know more about StitchCon, there is a website for StitchCon. So my dilemma with going to StitchCon is what to take. And I leave tomorrow to go to StitchCon. <laughs> so I have to figure that out here pretty soon, don't I? Uh, I kind of declared that this year, 2019, would be the year I would focus on finishing things. And I was thinking of, of not just quilts, but of course, my handwork. And there's so much of it. There's so much of it that I have started and that I still want to finish. I just got derailed, went on to the next project. Um, and I'm probably more of a monogamous stitcher, except I I start something, I work, 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 work on it, and then put it down and work on something else. And then hopefully come back to it at some point. So I wanted to show you some things that I'm considering taking to StitchCon in support of the year of finishing Man, it's so tempting to start. And so I've got some things that I'm also thinking about taking because I want to start them. All right. I took a class from Janice Note of Noteworthy Needle. There's her name. And this is um, a Stitcher's Chest. And this was a class that she offered and she provided the box and all the stuff you needed and the linen and the threads. And she came to our local Embroiderers Guild two years ago. And I worked on it that day and maybe one or two other times. It's so cute. It's the little box and you can paint it or stain it. Um, God, it's got a mirror. See? Oh, there's my sewing machine. <laughs> uh, there's you. <laughs> um, it's got the mirror. It's got mat board. It's got these little, um, little cubby. It's got, you know, batting and velvet and just all kinds of little tassel. The Altoid tin that you create a cover for. <sighs> I know. And let me tell you, these, these are not that, they're not that difficult. I mean, they're, 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 they're interesting. What does it say? I dream of the future and think on the past. My cares and my worries no longer seem vast. Peace and calm fill my heart and my head when I take into hand my needle and thread. And she just, she takes this oblong design and she just repeated it here and over here. <sighs> I think I've already stitched the, the scissor fob, this little thing. But I haven't 
finished finished it you know I've, I think I've done the stitching on it and I didn't bring that over here to show you but I should really take that I know I should I know I know I should all right here's something else um, this is a pattern that my sister-in-law uh, passed along to me called table graces by praying hands and, yep, and so they're they're different religious sayings, but this one is what she was wanting. It's a bread cloth. Well, she she started it as a bread cloth, and see if you can see that. I don't know. It says, "Bless us, Lord. Bless us, O Lord." And these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. And that's the, the prayer that we say um, whenever my husband and I are, are, are with his siblings or family. But um, this is what she got started on it. Maybe look at it this way. And like I said, she, she was doing it as a bread cloth. So I offered to take it, uh, this was almost a year ago, <laughs> and finish it for her. She gave me the threads, too. So, what's my problem? <laughs> I need to work on that. <laughs> and it's so pretty. It's really pretty colors. Really pretty colors. So I need to take that. I am almost done stitching this little design called Berry Basket by Cherished, Cherished Stitches. The kit contained the linen threads. Um, it says it contained cotton fiber for cording and silk ribbon. Let's see. Maybe it did. I haven't looked at it lately. Yes, it does. Okay. So, I'm almost done. Um, I just have some of the border here to do. And the flowers at the top to do. Oh, and then if I want to put the year in there... 2019 I need to do that I thought this would be a good small for a smalls exchange uh, it it could be viewed as primitive but it not necessarily so I should take that <laughs> and I could have a finish probably during StitchCon I'm sure I would not have a finish on this and this is huge um, and I know you can't really see very well. The Field of Berries Sampler. The verses, keep clean your samplers, sleep not as you sit, for sluggishness doth spoil the rarest wit. It has 19 old sampler stitches plus cross stitch to embellish 52 bands of border patterns. Featured are berry designs, including variations of the favorite strawberry motif, crowns, geometric bands, uh, a, a line of verse, and traditional embroidered alphabet. It's a long, formal band sampler style, and it uses 23 softly colored DMC threads. Some of the um, specialty or old sampler stitches are, there's three Pulled thread techniques, two styles of Algerian eyes, Belgian cross, plated Algerian stitch, small rice, small cross, and zigzag stitch. And the model was stitched on 32 count Belfast linen antique white. The finished piece measured 5.9 inches wide by 18.6 inches high, and it was designed by 
Eileen J. Bennett of the Sampler House. Now, I bought 32 Count Heroic by uh, Picture This Plus. But there's my start. And I'm doing it over two. One thread over two. It's really long. It's really long. So where did I... I've gotten to keep clean your... I've gotten to there. <laughs> I got all this to do. I should take that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Um, but I really want to take this to start. Stitching and Quilting Party. <sighs> I wish you could see this. I've seen this in person. A model. And it's so cute um you've got little quilters and stitchers uh they're here they're around the quilt sitting around the quilt oh, i wish you could see it and that's that's the thread list right there and I bought um, from Under the Sea Fabrics, Dryad, D-R-Y-A-D, 32 count. Now, the, I know it looks really green here, but there there is this kind of um, peachy, tanny color. I did that because I really want it to look uh, green. <laughs> so I may have to darken up some of the, the trees some of the threads that are used to stitch the trees. Um, but I really wanna I really wanna start this. And this might even be one that I would ask people, hey, you wanna put in three or four stitches into my piece since we are stitching friends and this is all about stitching friends. Here's here's the uh, thread colors. These are DMC. So, yeah, some of these greens are too close to the fabric color, but, um, and I know this is weird. I, I cut the other part out for another project, but, um, I want to start that. <laughs> And I, I bought this at Keepsakes. Uh, the pattern was, I think, in their clearance box. I bought this in December. The Sewing Circle Kingdom Sampler 1, designs by G-T-E-A-S-E. But Steph helped me pick out um, fabric and floss. So I picked, what did I pick? Um, picture this plus Sprite is this light lavender color. And then these are my thread colors, which are um, blues and greens and purples, different purples. I want to start that. And I want to start this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Have you seen this? It's um, called Quilted Garden. It's a floral sampler. And you can also stitch the smalls. It's by Blue Ribbon Designs. Uh, which is by Belinda Carls Nace. It's kind of a big piece. I had to get an 18 by 27 piece of Picture This Plus Regency. I'm a quilter. Of course I like 
go make a quilting design. But anyway, this is the, it's, it's kind of a taupey green called Regency. I don't, I don't think that's not the called for, but that's just what I picked. And these are the threads in my new Bags Plus bag. DMC. Okay, so this is my, sorry. I'm. It's the day before I'm leaving. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm taking. This is the Bags Plus bag that I bought during uh, Michelle Garrett, Bendy Stitchy, her live sale that she had. Uh, last month and so it can hold a lot more um, but I decided to use it for this project let's see here one two three four five yes and then this is the um, 45 pocket flip so that was a 40 pocket floss Betty and then this is her flip which has 45 places for floss and it has a, um, a clear pocket on the outside. I'm not using this yet. I haven't decided from Bags Plus in the UK. I've got strawberry fields forever by Blackbird Designs. You know, I know some of you are probably doing this or you've already done it. And I found a mystery linen. Which is kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a gray. I mean, to me, this looks more uh, tan, but I was thinking of coffee tea dyeing this. So I suppose if I'm taking this, I'd, I'd have to coffee tea dye it tonight and press it tomorrow and surge the edges. I need to surge the uh, surge. I don't have a serger. I'd zigzag the edges. But I have, I have the the flosses for that. Oh, it's so pretty. I would love to stitch strawberry fields forever. Sorry. Crinkle, crinkle. And then I have um, one more that I need to get the, I need to get the Weeks Dye Works. I want to stitch it in Weeks and not in DMC. A New Beginning by Abby Lane Designs. And I have um, 32 count ivory. Um, this is from a shop that used to be here in Columbus, Georgia. And I got this from a stash sale. Um, but anyway. It's, it's not my favorite thing to stitch on something this stiff, but it, um, it worked for the size I needed. This is kind of a big design. <sighs> that would be so fun, too. You know. You understand. You all understand. <laughs> Unless you are a true monogamous stitcher and you don't even buy anything till you're done with one project before, you know, when you're ready to start your next. But you all understand. So, um... So yeah, I have I have things in the works I should bring. I have things that I would like to start that I might bring. Hmm. Okay, I attempted to make up some business cards. I don't know if you can see that. And they didn't come out really great. I put my picture on them, and not because I think people are dying to get my picture, but I find it helps if I can put a face with a name. So I took, um, 
anyway. And I left a blank area. My thought being at StitchCon or when I'm anywhere and I want to give my, you know, YouTube channel and my email address to somebody that I might need to write something else down or what have you. I also use these to make, to hold uh, my needle minders. Again, I'm not, I'm not all into my face, but mm, I don't know if you can see, can you see the needle minder? Um, it says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And so I just did 15 needle minders. That was it. That's what I did. I am going to want to, I'm sure I'm going to want to give those to way more people than just 15 people, but that's it. That's what I did. I ordered some stuff from Fat Quarter Shop recently, and one of them was this t-shirt that says, just take one stitch at a time. So I think I'm going to take that to StitchCon. I mean, I probably, I don't know that I'll need it, but I might could wear it on the way home or something. And then I got the Stitching with the Housewives bag, tote bag. A fat quarter, fatquartershop.com. So it has it on the back side. It's a nice big bag. So I wanted to show you that. And then I'm bringing two lights. We are, we're told that we should try to bring lights that don't need to be plugged in. This one, uh, I've charged it up. And... Ooh, really bright. <laughs> Sorry if I'm blinding you. Um... That'll hold a charge for four to five hours, it said. I think. I think that's what it said. It came in um, this box. And then this one also has the USB end that you can, just like this one, you can plug into a uh, wall outlet plug. And... Um, I don't have it charged. I need to charge it. I need to charge it. So I will do that. So my hope is that between the two of these, you know, if I have to have one charging back either in the hotel room or off to the side, up against the wall, or because this would be useful not only at a cross-stitch retreat, but also at a quilt retreat. Because sometimes plugs are hard to come by. Power is hard to come by. Um, I think that's it. I wish there was time between now and when I leave when I could ask you, what should I do? Should I take new stuff or should I take stuff I need to finish? But I think because I have to decide between now and tomorrow, <laughs> I'm probably going to take one start. I don't know how I'll pick and the things that I need to work on. Because I know it's brought me a lot of joy to finish things this year that I have finished between January and June. So I would really like to keep that up and, and keep feeling good about finishing things. So that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> Thank you all for, um, for hanging out with me today. And, um, I hope you enjoyed meeting Duchess. I hope, uh, because I still have to film that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming to my stitchy home. And I should be back hmm, in a week and a half or so after I'm back from StitchCon. And I'll try to do another video then. Have a great day. Bye.